Am I audible, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Sir. yeah. 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 Sir. A very good afternoon to all the jury members, chairpersons, and all the delegates. Uh, uh, myself, I'm Dr. Yadukul, Associate Professor uh, in Department of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Hyderabad. Uh, today, I uh, want to present to you all uh, regarding the use of fingerprint biometric in workplace during this COVID times. A critical viewpoint. A brief thing about the fingerprint biometric system. Uh, I guess everyone knows about the fingerprint recognition is a secure and convenient technology that has become common and widespread. And uh, not only in the works, workplace, but also in the smartphones, we use uh, this fingerprint biometric system. But off late, what has happened is uh, something, uh, a lifetime experience for everyone, a pandemic has stuck everyone. Coronavirus disease, or what we call as COVID-19 is potentially severe acute respiratory infection that has uh, come recently. And on 11th March, 2020, WHO has declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. So this clinical presentation, we, as we all know, it respiratory from a common cold-like illness to death as well. There are very few scientific uh, studies which uh, says about the transmission of COVID-19. There are reports or studies done very recently. One such study was done by Van Dien et al. in recently in 2020 regarding the survival ship of this COVID virus in the surface as well as in the laboratory. And they have found that both SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 of up to two days in the surfaces and three days and aerosol generated in the laboratory. Apart from this study, all the other studies uh, have been done previously by Rabenu HF et al, Duan SM et al, and once SL et al. All these uh, studies have been done in the laboratory. So the real life scenario is something else and the laboratory uh, research is something else. The laboratory, uh, research whatever have been done it shows that the survival ship of the virus is between two to six days however a, a, a study based on the real uh, life experience has been done by varnes sl where sorry double sf where they have shown that there is no virus after a few hours but then the problem was this study was done in 2000 not on COVID per se, but on the coronavirus family that is MERS and SARS. So coming to the government initiatives, which uh, all the state government and the uh, central government has done, on 5th March 2020, before the WHO declared as a pandemic, the Delhi government announced the suspension of biometric attendance in its offices. Soon, the government of India also did the a similar thing by giving a GO, like suspending all the biometric in all their offices. It was followed by other states as well as sports authority, national green tribunal and other things. Coming to the discussion part, we all know that the global outbreak of COVID is raising questions about how safe using fingerprint authentication really is. Because not only the fingerprint as such we are talking, there are so many other common points like the lift, press, the door handles, the bus, and all those things. But there are very, very few studies to tell that the COVID is spread through the contact. There are studies in the laboratory, but real life experience has not been shown here. So since the none of the studies has done in the real life scenarios, considering all the information given by the WHO and the results in scientific studies, it is better to avoid fingerprint biometric in our workplace. To conclude, I would like to tell, after going through all the information and scientific data, we conclude that it is better not to use fingerprint biometric system in the workplace during this COVID period. However, there are alternatives like phone tap, iris scan and facial recognition. As we all know, uh, facial recognition can be hacked. Considering all the pros and cons of the alternatives, we suggest iris scan is the best during this COVID times. So in our opinion, the chance of transmission through inanimate surface is less. However, it is better to avoid 
fingerprint biometric system these are my uh, references thank you all